David Menzies for Rebel News here in Cambridge, Ontario, en route to Springfield, Ohio. And yes, Springfield is very much in the news these days. In fact, just last night, Donald Trump mentioned Springfield a couple of times here. Check it out. And look at what's happening to the towns all over the United States. And a lot of towns don't want to talk. It's not going to be Aurora or Springfield. A lot of towns don't want to talk about it because they're so embarrassed by it. In Springfield, they're eating the dogs, the people that came in. They're eating the cats. They're eating, they're eating the pets of the people that live there. And indeed, that is the reason why we are going to Springfield. Are the rumors true? Are there Haitian migrants capturing cats and geese and actually eating them. It's important for journalists to actually get on the ground and uncover this stuff for themselves when you have a lot of people saying my pets are being abducted or geese at the city pond are being abducted and slaughtered right in front of us. This is crazy stuff and again whether those exact rumors turn out to be mostly true, somewhat true, whatever the case may be. Caitlin, this town has been ravaged by 20,000 migrants coming in. Now, I can tell you folks, the mainstream media, they're poo-pooing this. They're saying it's all a big right-wing conspiracy. Yet, check out these city council meetings from August 13th and August 27th. And you tell me, do these look like right-wing radicals to you and i'm broadcasting this and you guys are just sitting up there in suits like i i really challenge you guys to get out here and do something these haitians are running into trash cans they're running into buildings they're running into they flipping cars in the middle of the street they're in the park grabbing up ducks by their neck and cutting their head off and walking off with them and, and eating them in any event folks whether or not the animal eating part of this story is true, the question arises, why is this town of 50,000 being deliberately swamped with 20,000 Haitian migrants? Healthcare costs are up, housing costs are up, communicable diseases like HIV and TB have skyrocketed in this small Ohio town. This is what Kamala Harris's border policies yeah. have done. Well, Lincoln Jay and I, we're en route. We're going to try to find out the answers the old-fashioned way, doing some shoe leather journalism. But in the meantime, can I ask you to help us out? We estimate our costs of going to Springfield, be it gas, food, and lodging, it's going to be about $1,200. And if you can go to thetruthaboutspringfield.com, that's thetruthaboutspringfield.com, and make a donation, we would greatly appreciate that. Stay tuned for further updates.